In this video, we're going to focus on our horizontal stack bar chart here, and we want to control the bar thickness. And what we want to do here is play around to give every bar a specific amount of pixels in thickness. So let's start to work on controlling the bar thickness on the stack bar chart. First of all, make sure you have the border template, which you can find here on chartgs3.com getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, I have a Discord channel, join. So all the links, all the links are in the description box. So let's start to look at this. So to do this, first of all, I need to have another bar in here. And we're going to make this a horizontal stack bar. So I'm going to save this first, refresh. There we are. Let's make this horizontal. So I'm going to say here, index axis equals y, save, refresh. All right. What we want to do here is to have a thicker bar. But if we are doing this, and we can just do it in here, we say here bar thickness. This allows us to specify how thick we want the bar. And let's say we want it to have 20 pixels. If I save this, refresh, we all have this here. And right now you can see it's not yet overlapping. So I'm going to make it even larger. Let's make it 25 and you can see here now we have an issue. It becomes an overlap. And the reason why this happens, it is dependent on the Y scale here. So this chart area on the left side is just too small for it. So it will just overlap because you're forcing a specific thickness. So how can we play around with it? Well, there are a few options to play around with it. But if we need this, this specific thickness, we have to play with the aspect ratio. So we're going to say here, aspect ratio. And then in here, I'm going to put in the value of one. This would mean that the width and height will be one with a ratio of one to one. And by doing that, we have now a bigger side uh, or Y scale area. So this allows us to do this. So there are some other options as well. We could say, for example, here, max bar thickness, although it will restrict you to items. So we're going to say here, flex. Let's put that in there. Let's hide this for now. And then it becomes here. Oh, sorry, of course, that should not be in here. This can be flex. Then we'll look for the most suitable size for it. If I save that, refresh, there we are. You will look for the most thick, thickest possible option for it, and making it equal as possible. If we do max here, it will say we want to have to maximum 25. Let's hide that. You can see here it will calculate if it is possible, but the maximum will be 25. What we can do as well, our another option is, for example, in here, we can say here bar percentage. And the bar percentage will be how thick the bar is within the scale area here, or basically this segment. So we could say here one, and it will by default, it is 0 0.8, so 80% of the area. And right now, if you make one, it will be line to line, will be directly connected. But of course, you can see in the segment here, we have still some space. We could take out that as well by saying the category percentage, that's, being, that's what it's called. And you give this a value of one. Right now, it's 0 0.9 or 0 0.8. And now you say completely 100% of this area should be used. So these are options as well that you have. But if we're going to put in the flex, let's see, it will overrule each other. So we have to hide these. There we are. And of course, finally, this option here that will control it as much as possible. So what you could do here as well to make it even smaller, you could say 0 0.5 and then it will become longer as well. Of course, this is not very practical. However, I have a separate video as well where as you keep on adding another bar, then the space of this will be recalculated and added an additional 20 to 30 pixels. So I will put that link as well in here so you can use it as an option if you have a long list of bars.